Dear brothers and sisters of planet Earth, I am Gaia. Coming here today to bring peace, to bring light, to bring love to all of you. My skin is burning. My forests are being consumed. But this is not a moment of revolt, nor a moment of anger. I feel the pain. Not the physical pain, as you feel. But the pain, yes, of seeing what you are provoking against yourselves. Each step taken against me does not change my structure, my path, my evolution. What it does change is the consequences that you will face. You need to pay attention. You need to see the truth. The more you burn, the more disordered the climate will become. The more intense the consequences will be. But this is all planned. This is all organized so that it happens this way. The only thing that makes me sad is when one of my children thinks that I am the one punishing him, that I am the one destroying his land, that I am the one taking food from his mouth. This hurts. Yes, I have feelings. I do not feel like you physically, but I am aware and I feel the energy generated by you. So, for you to understand, I refer to it as a feeling. This energy reaches me. Many might say that it is a small energy because I am immense and what is a human being compared to my size? I would say that everything is interconnected. It is like a large web. If an animal lands at any point, the vibration is felt at all points. So, all it takes is for a human to feel something that reverberates across my entire surface, across the entire network that connects you. My brothers, I will call you brothers, not sons and daughters. At this time, we need to unite, we need to be together, in these most critical moments of the process. All of this was expected. And more will come, with the intention of bringing more fear and blaming those around us to free them from all that is happening. But action is needed, my brothers. You need to stand up and do something. It is not enough to sit, watch, and cry. Something must be done. Each one of us must do our part thus demonstrating our indignation and our help, for this moment. I would say to you the following, you will not be helping me, because I am already used to suffering all kinds of aggression. But I would say that you will be avoiding many things against yourselves. You will be fighting the great negative egregores that are being created for the climate. And this is fought with light, with love. Lots of light and lots of love. Only light, only love is capable of destroying these egregores, it is capable of counterbalancing what is being done to destroy. So do something for yourselves. You need to understand that the consequences are not against me, the consequences are against you. Imbalance will bring problems for you, not for me. So you need to do something. And always remember, you are not powerless. Each one of you who fills your heart with love and light and emanates it, this multiplies. Because there are thousands of beings of light around the planet who take your energy, which is so small, due to its size, and expand it, multiply it, spread it, with great intensity. But for them to do this, you need to generate the energy. A tiny ball of light and love needs to come out from somewhere, so that it can be taken and expanded. So don't feel small, don't feel useless, don't feel powerless. You have the power. The power to generate, the power to create. And it is from you that things happen. It is free will that reigns on the planet. The beings of light are just waiting, waiting for someone to do something, so that they can act. They can't do anything until there is a tiny ball of light and love. So, each one of you must do your part. Not for me. My path is already set. I am on the path of evolution and doing very well. Think about yourselves. Don't think you are unattainable. Everyone will be affected, some more, some less, but everyone will be. So think about yourselves. Think that each ball of light and love that you generate can diminish what is already forming at some point further ahead. No, you will not be changing the future. What will come, will come. What you can do is change the intensity. Because everything is created by egregores. So, if you act, you take away the intensity, 
you take away the strength of the malignancy of those egregores. They will come. There is no way to avoid this. But do what you can to make them milder. And don't just think about yourself. Oh, I'll do it, then I'll earn points and nothing will affect me. No, don't think like that. Because this thought could be the trigger against yourself. Think that you will be acting for the whole. And it doesn't matter where you will be helping. You will be helping the whole. At this moment, this planet is one. At this moment, this planet is suffering at all points. There are negative egregores all over it. So do what you can to reduce their intensity, so that they come, so that they act with less intensity. You have seen some examples. And if you do nothing, you will see much worse. Something needs to be done. Ah, so the future is in our hands. Yes. The future is in your hands, because it was the free will of humans that created all of this. So, you continue to have the free will to minimize all of this. Don't think about me. Of course, every negative event that happens affects me greatly. But I am ready and prepared. You are not. You are fragile. So do something. Find something to do. Get involved in actions that benefit the planet. And you will see a future that is a little more rosy. Not rosy, because everything has already been created. But at least it will be rosy. It will not be as intense as is being planned. They can no longer destroy the planet with weapons. So they are messing with the climate. It is up to you to act as a counterforce of light and love, to minimize what they want to do. And never forget, have faith. Believe. And you will fall on your feet. Even if the world around you turns to dust and is destroyed.